What up, what up, Wimboys here. And today I'm excited to announce something that 3D artists have been asking for a long time. We can now bring rich shift materials into Unreal Engine. So without further ado, let's jump right into it. So as you can see right here, I'm using the latest version of Cinema 4D 2023.2. And I have a scene in here from Kitbash 3D. So if I just scroll on here, this is the medieval pack. And if you see up here, I downloaded the rich shift version. Now the reason that I'm using this one is because let me actually select this one right here and let me look for it here on my right hand side just so i could look at one of the materials here so if i look at the material let's say this wood one right here if i double click on it you can see that this is a node based material now this is very important for this to work we have to use the node based system not the espresso in which the kit bash 3d already has that set up for us and so i'm just going to use this right here i'm going to select this and i'm going to hit edit I'm going to copy it and just bring it into a new project here. So I'm going to come over here and just paste it in here. I'm going to click yes here just to bring all the materials over. And just to prove that this is actually ridge shift right now, I'm inside the standard mode. As you can see right here, we're in standard and none of the material are showing. So if I double click on it, you can see we're just getting this exclamation point and nothing that came over. So what I'm going to do is actually come over here to render, come over here to ridge shift. And now you can see everything is populated. So if I double click on one of these materials, you can see right here, it's all node based, it's all redshift. I select here again, we're in redshift mode and everything is good. Now to bring this over to Unreal Engine, I'm gonna hit Control D on my keyboard and down here in the lower right hand corner, I'm gonna click on Cineware and I'm gonna save Polygon Cache and I'm gonna save Material Cache. Now right here, I'm actually gonna make these just 4K, but once we actually import it into Unreal Engine, we're gonna be able to select the resolution we need anyway, but this is just a habit that I have from previously being able to import standard materials in. So this doesn't really matter, but I just do it anyway. Now, since I'm not gonna be importing any type of animation in, I'm just gonna make this zero. I'm not gonna be doing any animation cache here anyway. And from here, all we have to do is save out a standard Cinema 4D project file, which if I come over here to file, just save project as, and we're good to go. So I'm actually just going to name this one UE, click on save, and I'm just gonna give us a moment to save out, in which that was quick and fast. So again, you wanna make sure you're under Cineware, save Polygon Cache, that's gonna be for all your mesh and everything here, save Material Cache, which is gonna save all our rich shift materials, and we're gonna bring this into Unreal Engine. Now, one important thing, this is gonna be using Unreal Engine 5.2. This isn't gonna work with previous versions to my knowledge. So make sure you have the latest version of Unreal Engine 5.2 installed in your machine for this to work. So as I was saying, we're inside of Unreal Engine 5.2 and I'm gonna come over here to edit and I'm gonna come down here to plugins. Now there is a plugin that you wanna make sure that you have installed. So I'm just gonna type in cinema and right here, you can see we have Cineware by Maxon. Now this is what we're gonna wanna use right here. And you wanna make sure you're using the latest version. So it's gonna be 0.2023.7. And if you wanna know where to get this, you can actually get it at maxon.net. And I'll actually make a separate video showing you guys how to install this if you don't already know how to do it. And then down here, you'll see this other one. It says Data Smith C40 Importer. This is the old one by Epic Games. We don't wanna have this one on. This one should be the only one that we have on for this to work. So once you make sure that you have Cineware by Maxon selected, we're just gonna exit out here. Then we're gonna come over here to where we have this cube with the plus symbol. I'm gonna left click, come down here to Datasmith and come down here to File Import. And once you do that, you're gonna have your File Explorer come up in which I have my file that I just saved out right here, just called UE. And I'm just gonna click Open on this. And this is gonna bring up Choose Your Location in which I'm just gonna put it on a default content folder and I'm gonna click OK. And now this is gonna come up where it says Data Smith Import Options. Now by default, everything here will be selected, but I don't have any cameras that I wanna bring in and I don't have any animations that I wanna bring in. I'm just gonna bring in geometry, materials, and I don't even have any lights, so I can actually click this one off. And right here is where I was talking about before, where we actually can select a texture resolution, in which I'm just gonna leave it at 4K, but you can also do 8K, 16K, 2K, 1K, etc. But 4K should be good for us right here. So I'm just gonna click import on this and watch everything import. Now, the one thing I did notice when I'm bringing over materials from Cinema 4D using Redshift into Unreal Engine, sometimes it takes a few minutes for everything to bake down and come into Unreal. So nothing froze up, just give it a few minutes and everything should be good. So now it looks like everything imported into Unreal Engine. If I just come down here inside of my viewport, I'm gonna right click, hit the W key, 
just to kind of move in here you can actually see we have our redshift materials brought into unreal engine which is crazy i know a lot of artists have been waiting for this a really long time and everything comes in and right off the bat like i didn't do any lighting adjustments or anything everything just looks really good coming over from cinema 4d so this is something that i think is amazing that they were able to accomplish just bringing over the redshift materials because i know a lot of people have really been asking for this for a really long time so it's actually cool to see that they implement it so right now there's a few caveats that you need to know so right now we can only do ridge shift materials into unreal engine that means we can't bring over ridge shift cameras and we can't bring over ridge shift lights but that is something that i know the team is working on here in the future so this is just the first step for being able to bring your ridge shift projects into unreal engine but i do think this is pretty amazing that they were able to accomplish this so if you guys want to see more videos like this make sure you subscribe to the channel leave me a comment down below let me know how excited you guys are and if you guys want to learn unreal engine even further make sure you check out my new course on school of motion and until next time stay fresh keep creating and i'll catch you guys in the next video i see you soon take care